I still see a church. I still see a church where people are free to discover Jesus, his love for them at their level, where they are, and at their pace without being judged, condemned, or made to feel like they are not good enough. I still see a church where the worship of God is not just a show or a concert, but where the entire body of believers is caught up in an expression to God for His goodness, His grace, and His faithfulness. I still see a church where worshipers are leading from the seats as well as from the stage, where a sound of the redeemed can be heard, can be felt, and can be imparted beyond the Sunday morning worship experience and into the heart of the very community that we serve. I still see a church focused on where people are going, not on where people have been, where the dirt, the dust, and the grind from life's journey are able to be washed away by the renewing work of Christ, working through servants who will pick up a towel and are willing to clean that dirt off of those God brings our way. I still see a church. I still see a church not afraid to get its hands dirty and do whatever it takes to help pick people up and get them to where God has called them to be. I still see a church where miracles take place, where the supernatural power of God is not dismissed as a fluke or an accident, but where Jesus is still doing everything now that he did 2,000 years ago. I still see a church not bound by denominational limitations, generational boundaries, religious walls, or financial instability, where Christ and His Word are exalted above age, background, tradition, religion, and economic station, where young and old, rich and poor, downtrodden and exalted stand next to one another, work together, and are willing to do everything but sin to reach the least of these the best of these and everyone in between. I still see that church. I still see a church that Christ died for, lives for, and has called for such a time as this to occupy enemy held territory and prepare a community for his return. I still see that church. But now, 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 in 2020, now I see a church being raised up in the heart of rural America on the bleeding edge of a revival that will touch small towns, communities, and villages across this region. I see a church now full of found people spending their lives to find lost people in lost places. I see a church that is both a home for the presence of God and a home for the prodigal to return to. Where the faithful, listen, where the faithful and the failure walk together like family. see a church where God is calling forth other church planters to serve as missionaries and set up forward bases of operation for kingdom impact on the front lines of small town America. I see a church not intimidated or backing down from demonic strongholds that have been in place for years. I see a church ready to attack poverty, addiction, abuse, and religion, and any other thing that opposes the gospel through the power of the Holy Spirit. Now I see a church across many locations, not bound by one location, but rather a singleness of heart to see individual communities impacted by the gospel. Now I see a church in small towns across the Midwest bridging heaven and earth so that it is difficult to go to hell from those places. Now I see a church ready to receive a multiplying move of God that cannot be contained in one building, one town, or one community. Now I see a church not satisfied to rejoice in how many come, but only in how many go. I see a church who recognizes we are the if. We are the miracle. We are the ones. We are the people God has chosen to pour his spirit through in our community. Now I see a church who knows we don't have to go somewhere else to be a part of a move of God. We are a move of God right here, right now. That's the church I see. Heavenly Father, let the church I see become the church that we be in Jesus' precious name. Amen and amen.